Hi everybody, it's Miss Davis again. In this video, I'm going to go through some more word problems with you. Again, these are the questions that we've got for activity two for this week. I have highlighted one, five in the extension because these are the questions that I'm going to go through with you. So I've got part of the question up on here. Harry brings one pound to spend on sweets. He gets 20p change. How much did he spend? Now on screen, I've got a picture of a one pound coin and some pennies. Now, this is to represent that there are a hundred pennies in one pound. So this is going to make it a little bit easier for us to understand what we need to do next. To find out the answer, we could have 100 take away 20p and it will give us the answer. Or we could have 100 take away something equals 20p. Now I've got two strategies on screen. We've got our 100 square and we've got our part, part, whole. Now it's up to you what you'd rather use to help you. So this question is an extension from the previous slide. So what coins could Harry use to make the total amount? So say for example, the total amount is 35p. We know it's not, but we're going to use it as an example. What coins could I use or Harry use to make 35p? We could use 20p. 10p and 5p. If I add them all together, it's going to give me 35. Now, this is the same thing that you could use by working out how many coins could he use from the total amount on the previous page. Harry shares 18 enchanted coins between three of his friends. How many do they get each? So I know with the word shares that I would need to use the method of division. So he's got 18 enchanted coins and he needs to share between three friends. So I've got three groups on the screen and I'm going to share 18 coins, well 18 dots equally between each group. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I'm going to stop here because I need to only share 18. I'm going to count how many there are in the first circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so there are 6 in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are also six in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are also six in this one. So I know that 18 shared by three is six. Harry has six bags of three chocolate frogs. Ron has seven bags of two chocolate frogs. Who has the most? What is the difference? Now, before we find out, who has the most and what is the difference? We need to find out how many they have first. So I've got the number sentences underneath. For Harry, we need to find out what six lots of three is. And for Ron, seven lots of two. So this is where you can pause the video and work out the answer. So you've now got the answer, how many Harry had, how many Ron had. Now the question is asking us, 
who has the most. Now with the word most, it means the biggest number. So who has the most, Harry or Ron? So the next part is what is the difference? Now on screen, I've got a subtraction key vocabulary card and I can see that the word difference is on there. This lets me know that the method that I need to use is subtraction. Now, in order to find out the difference between two numbers, I need to take away the smallest number from the biggest number. So, for example, if I put four and two, I know that the difference between four and two is two. And this is the same way that you're going to find out the difference between Harry's number and Ron's number.